ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಹೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಿತು ಸಿರೆಬ್ಬೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರುಣ್ಯ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಯ ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಶ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗುರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾಕ್ಯಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ಯಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದುಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದೇತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನುಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯುಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂವಿ ಪಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 
राम राम हरे हरे तम भक्ति योग परिभावित हित सरोज वास से सुतेक्षित पथन नुपुंसम जद जद धिया तो उगाय विभावयती तत्तपनय से सदनो ग्रहायो तम भक्ति योग परिभावित हित सरोज आस से सुतेक्षित पथन नुनापुंसम जद जद धिया तो उगाय विभावयती तत्तद बपू प्रणय से सदनो ग्रहाय गौड़ गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पहुपा परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड गौड़ गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पहुपा परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट to satisfy to satisfy public and to satisfy supreme lord is not the same gauriya goshtipati sisela bhakti siddhanta saraswati goshami jagat prabhupad paramahansa jagat guru told to seek the satisfaction of public and to seek the satisfaction of supreme lord is not same and to declare this point and to declare this point heavily you have to shout and preach this point this is called actually bhakti if you can shout loudly like lion and if you try to establish siddhanta if you speak in front of public this is called actually bhakti to hide the absolute truth is not at all preaching many time i told before half truth is more dangerous than total lie if we like to speak half truth it is more dangerous than total lie total lie is far better than that sila pohupad used to say if i try to satisfy public if i am not going to follow a prakrito guru parampara if i am not ready to follow a prakrito bani bhoibhav i mean divya gyan parampara then it is not bhakti then surely it is not bhakti if i am not going to follow my divya gyan parampara if i like to preach something else in that case surely it is called not bhakti non bhakti many people become very upset become very angry when they are going to hear about that absolute truth they cannot digest of course it is not my fault why they cannot digest absolute truth that is their problem in anugatha itself what i mean to say their dikha is not complete many time i told if you try to attribute some fault in guru vishnu that surely means your darshan is very dirty we all try to find fault with guru vishnu their speech their siddhanta we cannot say that what guru vishnu is speaking i must harmonize what is the main thing i cannot understand i can ask i can try to understand this nobody can say
main problem is that when Guru Vaishnava is speaking very heavily, we think they are lacking Tinadapi. We think they are lacking Tinadapi. Foolish people cannot understand. It is the expression of more Tinadu Vibhav. I think you don't know mathematics. If you have basic idea about mathematics calculation, then you cannot make any such mistake. Why? It is just like mathematics. Who can speak absolute truth? Who can shout like lion? Who? Who is pure Vaishnava? Otherwise, common people, they cannot do. Common preacher, how they can speak? They have no power to speak about their absolute truth, absolute way, like lion. They cannot speak. But you think just opposite. Surely, Vrindavan Nath Thakur Mahasaya not going to throw his Tinadu Vibhav. When he is speaking, I can kick on the head of those people, those who are not going to accept this Siddhanta Vichar about Nityananda Prabhu Krishna. I can kick on their head. Idiot people think they have no Srinadu They cannot understand that Bindavan Das Thakur is more, you know, merciful for us, to us. That's why he liked to provide a kick to give dust particle from his lotus feet to rectify my dirty brain. That I cannot realize. That is my shortage. That is my bhajan. Anyway, you are going to make mistake. If you are at all going to think that I could not understand, but still you can see that you are wrong, again wrong. Anyway, this kind of discussion giving us the opportunity to know the absolute truth. If we think we are insulted, Mara speaking this way, then all finish. Anyway, you are making a mistake. If you like to change, okay, I wanted to speak this, but still it is wrong. I can prove it. Gauriya Goshtipati Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, Paramahansa Jagadguru told, by the order of Sila Sachinanda Bhakti Thakur, when I wanted to take shelter onto the lotus feet of say Paramahansa Acharya Sila Gauri Babaji Maharaj, then he wanted to avoid me. <laughs> he wanted to avoid me. Yeah. I couldn't understand why. After that, by causeless mercy of Sila Paramahansa Gauri Babaji Maharaj, I could see the beauty of his lotus feet immediately. A big effulgence coming from emitting from the lotus feet of Guru Path Padma. I could see. And I, as if, if somebody asking me to look at the sun, glowing sun, I cannot look. My condition was like that. I couldn't see properly. I could realize the beauty of Guru Path Padma, but not totally. By his causeless mercy, I was trying to look, but so much light emitting. After that, by the mercy of Guru Path Padma, I could realize that due to my false ego, due to my educational qualification, I think I am Pandit. Because I take birth in this high family traditional line, I took birth. Janma Ishajya Sruto I am very nice looking handsome. 
It is the causeless mercy of my Guru Path Padma. First of all, he wanted to provide a kick on my false ego. Because the building of false ego is always fragile, brittle. It is my fault that I always want to preserve my personal interest. I always like to preserve my dignity. I am a lawyer. I am a judge of this, you know. I am a doctor. You don't know? This way, we always try to express some false ego, directly, indirectly. Even when I say, Prabhu, come, come, Prabhu. In that case, when I am speaking Prabhu, when I am speaking Prabhu, that is also my adversity. Because I am calling like a, I am, I am calling a dog, come, come, Prabhu, come. This is not humbleness. Though you are speaking Prabhu, but you have some false ego inside you. You are speaking Prabhu, but you think he is inferior than me. This is your darshan. This way you like to do Hari Bhajan. What I can do for you? How I can help you? You want to prove I am a professor, I am a lawyer, I am a judge. I am a doctor. This is your identity. You cannot see, you cannot speak like Sanatan Gosai that I am a Jivatma. I am a fallen soul. Where I can go? This you can never say. This is your status of Dikha. I know you become very angry with me for this kind of absolute truth. But I cannot cheat you. Many times I told you. Popat wanted to speak. Popat wanted to make us understand this vital point. When Guru Patpat was watching, I have some false ego. With false ego, somebody can take diksha. It is absurd. Like a flower in the sky. With all false ego, I can take diksha. I have taken diksha. You don't know? This is my guru. But a Sadguru never speak that way. A Paramahansa Gurudev can never speak that way. He always speaks, I am a fallen soul. He always speaks this way. A Paramahansa Guru Padma never make any disciple. Always make Guru. A Paramahansa disciple never make any disciple. Always make Guru. Is learning. From you, from she, from he, learning so many things. They are Paramahansa. Paramahansa means to discard the dirty thing out of the mixture of good and bad. He can discard the bad and take the substance. Like a Paramahansa, can drink milk, Hansa, you know, Swan, can take milk from mixing, water and milk mix, if you mix, only can take milk and water. Is it possible for you and me? Do you think it is possible? Not possible. So, Paupad wanted to say, my Guru Pat Padma, first of all, First of all, wanted to provide a big kick on my false ego. So that my building of false ego can break, fragile, can break down. When the building of false ego can get destroyed, surely that time I can feel helpless. I can try to get some support. Because so long I was, uh, you know, I was thinking that false ego is my support. When false ego gone, I am feeling helpless. 
in that case, I am trying to get a genuine support of Guru Vaishnava health. Help. That is called genuine dikha. Countless such, such dikha can be there all over the world. Popad never confess it as diksha. Popad never confess it as diksha. It is not at all diksha. If at all diksha, why you are going to, why you are not getting Dibba Gyan? If at all diksha, if at all you are initiated, then why you are not getting Dibba Gyan? This is surely going to prove that you are not initiated properly. There is lack of anugatha, you have vanity, false, everything. Want to reserve something of your personal, don't like to, you know, open your heart in front of Guru Vaishnava. That is your conception. Out of that, what kind of privilege you like to ensure that you know, I cannot understand. Because I am foolish, number one. I cannot understand. So, Popa speaking, if there is false ego in me, I can never go through any scriptural analysis. I can never go through any harikatha in true sense. Maybe I am sitting, I am sitting in front of Guru Vaishnava. Maybe I am sitting in front of Guru Vaishnava. But that is not actual hearing of Harikatha. That is not actual reading of scriptural analysis written by Guru Vaishnava. Not at all. I am very happy. I am very, very happy. I am so happy that I cannot speak the limit of my happiness. That one of my Guru Varga speaking my heart or I would say, I, I was very happy to see the same conception of Prabhupada coming out of his writing from that great devotee, the eternal parsa of Bhagavan and Prabhupada. His name is Sri Sadhananda Swami Prabhu. I am feeling sometimes very helpless. If I could get the association of that kind of elevated sadhu. Well, I was trying my best to get the association of Bhakti Puma Purigashini Maharaj and so many great, great devotees. Not that I couldn't wait. Otherwise, how? At least I am trying my best to do some save. A very insignificant, insignificant save. But still, this was also impossible for me to attain this stage, which is very humble than it. I was speaking about mathematical calculation. You forget one thing. Harikatha is not at all possible for any Vaishnava to speak Harikatha, not possible. Until and unless he is established in Tinadapi, Baba, you forget this point, like mathematics. You only think that he is speaking heavily. But you don't understand, if there is no Tinadapi, it is the evidence. It is the evidence that that Vaishnava, like Bhakti Pama Turi Goswami Maharaj, Sridhar Goswami Maharaj, thinking, I am nothing. I am nothing, I am helpless. They think, only it is possible for them to realize. So they can speak Har Harikatha. He is speaking nice Harikatha, Maharaj, but there is no Tinadvi. Absurd. It is absurd, completely absurd. How is possible? If Tinadvi is not there, then Mahaprabhu told Tinadvi Sunichana Tarurva Saishna Amanina Manandina Kirtaniya Sadahari. Then you are make, going to make a blunder mistake in the beginning. So better you don't come in front of that Vaishnava. If you think at all, you have some doubt here, say Tinadavi or not. Because you can invite Aparat. 
you can invite opera, that is a big problem. So without Trinadopi, somebody can speak Harikatha, it is absurd. It is absurd, not possible. Anyway, at all, anyway, if at all I was ready to give answer in this Harikatha, we should think that we are getting advantage out of that. If there is at all misunderstanding in me, I am going to clarify. If at all this kind of question not coming, if this kind of, you know, comment not coming, how I could get the opportunity to give answer? That is a... To be frank, one Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava should go for preaching. What do you say? You told uh, something else, I never told something else. It is a lack of your understanding. It is lack of your understanding. I never wanted to say this way. I wanted to say, only and only those who are Paramahansa, they can go for preaching. But I heard something from you, Gorgisar Baba, Bhakti Thakur, or you know, Gorgisar Baba Ji Maharaj, or uh, Rup Sanatana Adi, etc. They are the great preacher by the desire of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. They are the great preacher, topmost preacher in the whole universe, not in this world. Even demigods can come and attend the Harikatha of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Krishna. Even, even all, Brahm, all demigods, they can come, Gandharva demigods, they can come to attend the Harikatha of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Krishna. I am not making any mistake. I am not any, making any mistake. I am speaking Siddhanta. There is no possibility. If I am in parampara line, Shauta parampara, if I am totally established in Shauta parampara, there is no, there is least possibility of any mistake. There cannot be any possibility. Because I am not speaking Harikatha. This kind of vichar coming inside my heart by the mercy of Guru Bharga, I am speaking. Sila Sadananda Swami, my Guru Padma used to say, Paramahansa Guru Padma used to say, that bonded soul cannot go, bonded soul cannot go perfectly through Harikatha. Bonded soul cannot read Sastra Siddhanta properly. Not possible for them. They are reading. Maharaj, I already read Jaiva Dharma. Two times. Two times? Bhakti, our Popa saying 108 times you will have to read Jaiva Dharma. If you at all like to become Vaishnava. Otherwise, I am not going to put pressure on you. 108 times. Jaiva Dharma. At a digest. Then you can become a true Vaishnava. You will have to follow a pure Guru Vishnu properly, submission should be perfect, 100%. Srila Sadhananda Swami wanted to say, my Guru Padpad, that why I am speaking this way? Suppose I give you some mantra. Suppose you like to get in written form. But my question is that what you can do with this written form? What you can do? Well, I can give. Maximum you can recite. Maximum you can recite, you can memorize. That much you can do. Beyond that living you cannot go. When you can enjoy my 100% love, affection, strong, even in dream, you can realize that Maharaj loved me very much. Then you can realize the actual meaning of that mantra. Otherwise, you can get in written form or in boy, whatever. It matters little. 
So Sadananda Swami wanted to speak such a secret thing. I was so happy that what Prabhupada wanted to say, he wanted to say same thing. And I also wanted. Many times I speak, people think I am mad. Really I am mad. Otherwise, why I am speaking this kind of topics? Surely I am mad, totally mad. Otherwise, not possible for anybody to speak this way. Unusual way of speaking Harikatha. Unusual way. So he wanted to say, we can try to look at Harinam, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Okay, that is your privilege. But really you are going to meet with Harinam? You don't understand my what I mean to say. You don't understand what I mean to say. Maybe I am not clear to you. Suppose there is Harinam Mahamanta, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. I am worshipping Nam Brahma. Nam Brahma there, I am providing do everything. But it is a letter, only letter, some collection of letter. So, so long you find some letter, only that is not your perfect darshan. That is not your perfect darshan. Same thing Prabhupada wanted to say, same thing Sila Sadhananda Prabhu wanted to say, my Guru Padma, and I also want to say same way. I can memorize so many sastra. I can memorize, I have my memory power, I can speak sastra. I can go to America, Russia, France, Italy, everywhere and preach. Is it really preaching? Really preaching? Preaching means I will have to share my direct feeling with you. If I at all love you, I am your father, I am your son. I like to give my direct feeling to you. I never wanted to cheat you. That is my fault. That's why everybody kicking me on my head. Because I never wanted to cheat them. That's why they try to kick me on my head. It's useless. No money, no position, no foreign trip, no disciple. What you can do? Useless. Who can hear? That is my fault. So to go through mantra, to go through Mahamantra, to go through any scriptural analysis written by Guru Vaishnava, to go through Harikatha, what is the inner meaning? What is the inner meaning? What do you mean to say? What I mean to say, you will have to meet with that word. Meet with that word? Yes. Like you are sitting in front of me, you are my mother. I like to meet with you, talk with you. You will have to meet with each and every word I am speaking. You will have to see in form. Genuine Harikatha, genuine writing had some permanent form, eternal form, spiritual form. But we are blind, that's why we cannot see. The day you are successful to discover the actual physical feature of that Harikatha, Siddhanta, Harinam, Man, and other mantra, then your taking mantra is okay. There can be so many people in the world who can deserve that we are Brahma Tattva we know. Follow. Somebody can somebody can demand. I know Brahma Tattva. But to know Brahma Tattva and to realize Brahma Tattva not same. All lacks of devotee all over the world. I can solemnly say they are cheated. So much confidence I have. I am not trying to you know, say that everybody can realize this Harikatha. I am searching one, two, maximum one or two can, all over the world they can realize. Then I can give, I can get, uh, you know, 
donation of kipa from Gauranga Mahapur. I am trying this much. I cannot express that kind of audacity that I can preach all over the world, everybody. Can. No. I'm such a one, two, one. They can realize, I think, very, I am very lucky. If one or two. If more, that is the arrangement of Nithananda. You speak about massive preaching. I think your realization power not going up to that point. You are not in line with Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Surely you are not in line with Gauriya Math. Otherwise, this kind of comment cannot come. The more I can preach, the more humbleness can come in me. I have done nothing. I couldn't do anything. In fact, I have myself, I have no realization how I can preach directly. That I can say. I can say this much. So each and every Harikatha of a transcendental sadhu, a prakita sadhu, sometimes fire coming out. They say fire coming out. You are feeling hot. This is called actual Harikatha. But you think just opposite way. You feel sorry. Why is speaking this way? At least this kind of topics coming. So I have the chance to rectify my wrong conception. I wanted to say that Paramahansa Guru Vishnu should go for preaching. I never told that Paramahansa Guru Vishnu need not go for preaching. Or I can say both ways it is true. They can sit in one place, that is also, they have so influence, by their acharan they can influence the whole world. At the same time they can go for preaching and they can go for preaching, not anybody else. They can go for fishing. If they are not going fishing, who can understand? I never wanted to say Paramahansa Guru Vishnu cannot go for fishing. I wanted to say that they can go, not ordinary people. Not. But one condition. They can come down to Madhya Madhika level. Otherwise, preaching cannot, they cannot do. That is a condition on the basis of which Srila Sachidananda Bhakti Mir Chakur, Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagur Prabhupada, Paramahansa Srila Parampija Srila Bhakti Rakha Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Yudhya Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Pradip Titha Maharaj, Srila Bhana Goswami Maharaj, Srila Goswami Maharaj, do you think they are not Paramahansa? Do you think they are not Paramahansa? It is my question to you. How dare you say they are useless? Do you think they are not Paramahansa? But I can solemnly say they are all Paramahansa. But in Paramahansa stage, if they go for preaching, nobody can catch their theme. Nobody can catch their you know, speech. That's why they purposely come down to little down, purposely, externally. Internally they are Paramahansa. Internally they are Paramahansa, but externally they come to my, you know, Madhya Madhikar for preaching. Because in Mad if, if Prabhupada not got out of his causeless mercy, out of his causeless mercy, if Prabhupada not coming to up to Madhya Madhikar. Otherwise, nobody can catch his understanding. Nobody can catch his what he wants to say. Even after that, nobody can, somebody can understand, somebody cannot understand. There is no guarantee because bonded soul is, you know, they are enjoying free will. They can hear, they can like me, they cannot like me. It's up to according to their previous sanskar. So it is the causeless mercy of Prabhupada, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Srila Bhano Goswami Maharaj, Srila Goswami Maharaj, it is the causeless mercy. Bhakti Vinod Thakur Goswami Maharaj, they, they purposely. 
we are not even the student of kindergarten. Never mind. We are not even the student of kindergarten. But to speak about infant, one, two, kindergarten, you cannot qualify. So sophisticated this Gauriya Darshan is. So sophisticated, high, so high sophisticated that I cannot get any entry inside this Gauriya Darshan. That is my poor condition. That is, I, that is why I misunderstand Guru Vaishnava. I cannot go up to that far to understand what a pure sadhu want to speak. Like one man, in my, practice, in my life also I have seen. One man, a first year London, or I have seen, is a great scientist, or is a great professor of mathematics or English, chemistry, physics. He is going to guide his own son, uh, five years on. He is, sit, 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 with slate, pen, he is going to say, you see, this is A, this is B, this is C. So by watching you can pass remark, oh useless, he you knows nothing, he knows nothing. Come on, he is, you know, professor, big professor, world class professor. But when he is going to teach his own son, like a child, he sit in front of a baby, Oh, you see, if somebody outside people, he can think his standard is like that because he is giving teachings to ABCD to his boy. This is your judgment. This is your judgment. This is your darshan. This is your darshan that you can see only blood and flesh, shape and design, stool and urine. That is your darshan. With this darshan, with this darshan, you like to get entry forcefully inside Gauriya darshan. But you should know, trespassers will be prosecuted. No amount of force is allowed here. Submission, humble attitude. Trespassers will be prosecuted. You cannot apply your money power, manpower. Well, you can collect money, you can go to America. Billions of dollars, that is your privilege. That is your profit. When you are going to die, if I put question, Maharaj, what is your net outcome? What is your profit? If I put question, if, he, if suppose he is going to die, Maharaj, what is your net outcome? What is your net profit? Like the case of that Mayavadi, I told many times, Madhusudan Saraswati Pad is the topmost Pandit in Mayavad Samaj. Actually not Pandit. But later on, it was the causeless mercy of Gauranga that he was bound to accept Gauriya Darshan. He wrote one book which is a must compulsory in all university, even in the devotional, not devotional, I should not speak this way, because my word, what I am using, all should be a prakita. Even to give honor to that devotee, I cannot say, I cannot say, that, you know, seva, I cannot say. Because Mayavadi, there is no question, no smell of seva with them. I cannot speak wrong way. So I must check myself to, to check my emotion, to speak. Because my emotion should be all positive emotion, not negative. No connection with negative world. So that man, see Madhusudan Saraswati Pad, he wrote one book, Addaita Siddhi, this volume of book. Addaita Siddhi, big book. Advaita Siddhi. Advaita Siddhi, this book he wrote. Like Mahabharata, like epics. You can go mad. The kind of judgment, the kind of, you know, calculation written there. 
If you go through that book, you are bound to accept impersonal Momo. So fine intellect. He was a Bengali man from, you know, from Haritpur, I think, at present Bangladesh. But finally, it was the causeless mercy of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. He was bound to come here in Navadip like mad. If I go on speaking about all my practical experience, all I, you know, got for my Guru Varga, it will take life after life. Even in Navadip, so many cases I can speak. Mayavadi never believed. Ah, useless. Gauranga Nityananda. They become devotee. Causeless mercy of Gauranga. But uh, what is the what is my condition? Even after taking shelter onto a lotus feet of such a great exalted devotee, still I am blind. My diksha is like that Ramchandra Puri. Wherever you have taken diksha, that is not so important. A result is most important thing. You can take diksha from Madhavendra Puri, what it concerns to me. You can take diksha from anybody, what it concerns to me. I like to see the fruits in the tree, in your tree. What kind of fruit? That I am interested to see. Not like, you know, foolish people are, oh, it's great, it's, you know, give garland and this, that, worship, wash the lotus feet and drink the water to go to hell. Never mind. Pope was speaking. What to speak about? Pope was speaking. Try to remember, don't forget. Pope was speaking. What to speak about give, giving my uchish? What to giving? What to speak about? What to speak about? Hmm. Taking uchishta from them. Pope was speaking. Nobody can speak like that. All over the world you can search. You cannot get the absolute truth like this, what Pope had told. That is why nobody should start competition with Pope. They can simply destroy themselves, their society. I am sure about it. We should not start competition with Guru Pad Padma. Guru Pad Padma is not a matter of my jealousy. Popad used to say, what to speak about taking Uchishta from my Guru Pad Padma. The kind of Guru Pad Padma you have accepted in your life. What to speak about taking Uchishta from his... Even if I can give my Uchishta to him, I can go to hell. Can you do any calculation? In what level you will have to go? Don't become happy with money, position, land, property. Follow what I say. So, if I, what to speak about giving, taking Uchishta from my Guru Padma, such a fallen Guru Padma I have taken in my life. Even if I am going to give my uchista to him, I can fall down. Such a very dangerous situation. Many times I told, the condition of disciple is more, far better than Guru Padma. This is the situation. I am not making any false philosophy. That is why this kind of condition all over. Nobody likes to discuss. So, I wanted to say that Gaurakishwar Babaji Ma is not going from preaching. But is Acharan going to? What do you mean by Acharan? What do you mean by Acharan? Acharan is some drama? You think Acharan is some drama? Eh? Before opening the gate, I can arrange my dress, everything. Oh, don't open. My disciple can enter. I, I can express some bhava of, you know, it's called acting. Naked truth is always very bitter. 
Naked truth is always very bitter, that I know. But I will have to speak. I must speak. To protect my sampradayik flow, if the whole world is going to attract me, still I don't bother. I keep hope that I can step one by one, I can march and go forward. By the mercy of Nityananda Guru Varga, I can try my best. So, simply because Popat going for fishing, Gorkishar Babaji is not free. So, Gorkishar Babaji is Paramahansa, and Popat is not Paramahansa. This is not the calculation, miscalculation. Popat is Paramahansa. When we can realize, when I can realize, when I can realize from heart, when I can realize from heart, my speaking Harikatha to you is my topmost procedure of bhajan. My Harikatha, my speaking of Harikatha can subscribe my heart, the tremendous kripa. That is called Harikatha. If I think my speaking Harikatha in front of you is wastage of my time, uh, simply I can do some Harinam, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. This is not Gaudiya Darshan. This is not Gaudiya Darshan. Gaudiya Darshan means to speak Harikatha, to do Harinam, to deliver bonded soul, all my seva. When I talk with you, when I give something to your hand, everything, all my bhajan. You are foolish, you cannot understand. Even if I gossip with you, what? What cooking going on today? What you have? They also bhajan. When I can, you know, this way, if I can, you know, make one nice strategy how to preach. And my love should not be false love. Tremendous attraction you can feel from your home that pulling me. You can feel attraction. That is called actual love. Because I have my practical experience. I have my practical experience. With, I am not facing any, I am not speaking any false philosophy. I was very feeling disturbed. I don't like to name. Guru Maharaj was there. I was feeling disturbance due to the behavior of some so-called devotees. So I wanted to go away, Calcutta for Seva. After that I went to Kalna. Here Guru Maharaj automatically could know, realize. Guru Maharaj automatically realized, could realize that Shyamal Krishna become very upset. That letter is there still today. I can show you, but you cannot read. Because in second hand, no? He wrote one letter by the help of a, uh, his name is Marshall. Dikshanam I cannot speak, I forget. He is from, uh, from one country, European country, Holland, Holland, right, I can remember. He, Guru Maharaj, write one letter, Guru Maharaj came to know that he is going to Kalna. No, no. Guru Maharaj is asking, Samal Krishna is there in Kalna. You go and hand over this letter to him. He is going to Kalna. Hand over the letter. I was shocked. I couldn't understand the full letter. Because the Guru Maharaj is very high age, second hand. But the theme of the letter I could realize. What I mean to say. Same thing I wanted to say, na? If I go through mantra, it is not sufficient. Rather, if I can feel what is there, that is my actual darshan. So, maybe I couldn't read the whole letter written by Guru Maharaj. But by his mercy, I could realize the theme of the letter. And that Holland devotee was there with me. I think for one day, I was speaking Harikatha in front of some, you know, school girl and, you know, student, I was speaking in Kalna. 
So it is not a matter of joke. So Prabhupada going to speak Harikatha and Prabhupada must go for Harikatha. Prabhupada should go. All Paramahansa they should do. Maybe they will have to come to, you know, Madhya Madhika level. Otherwise, preaching is impossible. Because Uttam Adhikari, everywhere when they are looking, they can find their Ishtadev. Paramahansa, Devotee, they are always looking anywhere, they can discover their Ishtadev. Follow. So, but they will have to come to purposely. If they can come to, you know, Madhamadika, Prema Maitri Kipo Peksha Karati, Ya Sa Madhamaha. So, Madhamadikari can pass a judgment. His condition is very good. Okay, I can give Hari now. If he is Uttam Adhikari, if anybody is coming in front of him, he can think all the same. Because he is not going to pass any judgment. He is fine, he can find whole world. Whole world is by Kuntha. So in that case, how you can? If my master not going to speak, this is wrong, but you have done, idiot, go this way. Then how I can learn? How I can learn? My Guru Maharaj will slap me, show me, huh? mistake you have done. If you say he is going to find my fault, he is not Paramahansa, you are idiot. <laughs> you are foolish. He is going to show me that don't this way. This is wrong. Your activity, your, you can do this way. That doesn't mean that he is fallen so. Ah, oh, he is going to find, he is written, there's nobody should find any foolish. Baba speaking, Guru Padma must point out my faults. But for that reason, he cannot fall down. Only Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava can show my fall down. He uh, show my faults. You are making fault. That doesn't mean my Guru Padma can fall down. Prabhupada speaking, my Guru Pat Padma is always going to show my fault. They are busy to show my fault and for that reason he cannot fall down. It's not possible. But other people, bonded soul, going to criticize one Maharaj, one Paramahansa, this, ah, useless. Don't go to hear Harikatha, they are fall down. Infinity Harikatha, infinity feeling, time cannot permit. That is the main problem. So I wanted to say, those who are Paramahansa, they can go for preaching because it is possible for them to inculcate the Seva mood inside me. What they can transfer? Some word, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. No, they can transfer the feeling. Inside me, that is called preaching. So never try to misunderstand me. If some of you thinking that you are superior to me, but I always think you are superior to me. No need of uh, no, thinking that way. I always think. If you give me order, I am ready to give dust particle from your lotus feet. Hundred percent. You say, I can go and take for anybody of you. I can take dust particle from you. I am not speaking lie. So if you can think you are superior to me, I am also going to give you certificate. Why you are going to take trouble? I can see you are superior to me. So don't try to misunderstand me. Sila Gopal Vattu Goswami, the eternal parsad of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. I am going to touch. Sometime I can discuss all in details. Sila Gaurkishadad Babaji Maharaj, hey, Sila Gopal, you know, Gopal Vattu Goswami Pad, I already told that day, Prabodhananda Saraswati Pad day, that he took birth there in Siranga Khetram. Sirangam, the Vaikuntha. 
there his father and uncle I already told. Tirumalla Bhatta, Bhinkat Bhatta. Bhinkat Bhatta is the father of Bhinkat Bhatta is the father of Gopal Bhatta Goswami. And two uncles. One is Tirumal Bhatta, another is Prabodhan Sarsut, I told. I wanted to speak so many things, but I couldn't speak. Excuse me. Gopal Bhatta Goswami started taking lesson in very small age. Four, five years, six years. And he took all education from his from Maharaj, which Maharaj? Which Maharaj? Pobodananda Sarasriva. He is now Maharaj. I cannot say his uncle. I cannot say his uncle. Okay, previous, you know, when he, before taking sannyas, he was uncle. So this way you can say. So he took all education from Srila Pobodananda Sarasriva. Took all education. All from when he was uh, taking uh, grammatical education, everything, alankar, sastra, or everything. There is a uh, chanda, alankar, so many. Your mind, if your mind is not concentrated in one point, it is impossible. Fickle mind cannot get any stability in bhajan. They have to grow your stability. Your root should go deep into Gauriya Bhajan. Then your tree can stand. Otherwise one cyclone can come and the tree can become uprooted. If there is no rigidity in the bondage, there in the ground. So, Gopal Vattu Goswami took all education from Srila Prabhupada Saraswati Bhav. And one thing I wanted to point out that day, maybe you forget, but I can remember. That day I wanted to say, before taking any spiritual education, you must take shelter unto the lotus feet of pure Guru Vishnu. Initiation, without initiation, your hearing, your reading of Sastra is not perfect. And it was the general rule on those days, it was the general rule on those days, that whoever wants to take lay, you know, spiritual education, scriptural, you know, Siddhanta Bhirvani education, he must first take shelter of a Sadhguru. Brahman, Vaishnava, others not. So same thing in our Gauriya society, Prabhupada used to say. Prabhupada also used to say the same Siddhan. When some sannyasi speaking to Prabhupada, Prabhupada, that small boy is now, we think, is very sincere. We can speak Harikatha and this kind of Siddhanta in front of you. Prabhupada, no, not now. Let him hear, hear, hear. Let your hearing organ become perfect. So same thing I am speaking. Prabhupada used to say, one must rectify his hearing organ. Now dirty. When you can discover your hearing organ so high level, then only you can hear Harinam, Mahamantra, Guru Vaishnava, Harikatha, you cannot hear. Sangsaro Pukar, Kanena Pushibe. Bhakti Mata writing in Kirtan. All the shouting of this material world cannot come. Then, in the midst of thousands of devotees, I can say, I am, I am doing solitary bhajan. Follow what I say. In that case, I can say, maybe there is thousands of devotees all around me, but I can say, I am doing solitary bhajan actually. It is called actual solitary bhajan. 
people, foolish people, they have no patience to hear this kind of thing. So let them cheat it. I have nothing to do. They can approach anybody. I cannot give time to them. Minimum consciousness, minimum thing if I can see, then I can give time. For foolish idiot, I cannot give time. I have no time. Of course, I have love for them also. Because of their passiveness, I am going to pass this remark. I am not passive. I like to talk with them, speak about the absolute truth. So, Popat used to say, let the boy grow his hearing capacity. After that you can speak, not now. Let him hear Harikatha and do Kirtan, hearing Harikatha and Kirtan. In course of hearing Harikatha and Kirtan, you can clear your heart. Then you can realize what is Harikatha, what is Mantra, not before that. But still you can try. But it is my request, at least don't do any aparad. Less bhajan you can do, okay? Okay, Maharaj, you can do less bhajan. After that you can get quality and good. But at least don't do any aparad. It is my request unto all of your lotus feet. It is my request. So now Gopal Vattu Goswami, when was a very small boy, in that case, Mahaprabhu Sri Krishna Chaitanya went there. I already told, I am not going in details. Vital point I like to touch. He was learning this. So his scar third was over. Within 12 years, we should take scar third. After 12 years over, it's not good. Within 12 years, it's good. 12. Uh, somebody is give, taking 16 years, but actually, you know, more good, you know, more practical to take eight years. Follow. Or uh, somebody taking 12, somebody 16. Anyway, so it all depend upon the realization. Pambhagaiti. Brahma Gayati is very important thing, very secret thing. Brahma Gayatri can help you to cut your material bondage. But Matajis, they are not allowed to get Brahma Gayatri. Some reason there, I can speak sometime. They can get Gaur Gayatri, they can get uh, Guru Gayatri, Gauri Gaur Gayatri. They can get, you know, Kam Gayatri, Kam Beach, they can get. And Mahamantra to open for all, they can get all how to worship, how to think in the morning time. All there is countless, you know, think of bhajan. You'll have to learn day by day, not a matter of joke. Not a matter of joke. Like one mother, sometimes we see, one mother, a small boy, in Calcutta Chaitanya Goryamat, one mother coming and putting the boy in front of the gate of Goryamat and flying. And somebody catch, hey, what are you flying? Follow. Why I give this example? This is the condition. Like one mother going to throw that helpless baby in street, so that anybody can take and take care of that baby. This is at present condition of Diksha. Gurudev have his own responsibility to guide all the fraction of second. But we are not ready. We are ready to take money from Sisya. Disha, give me pranami. That much we can say. All other responsibility, we have the one Diksha. Oh, thousands of people, who can remember? Each and every devotee, those who are actually taking submission, swaying, Gurudev can remember everybody. And mentally catching. Mentally going to 
catch him, cannot allow him or her to fall down, as catching, tight bondage. You cannot believe it. You can remember I told long time ago, she taught us going to give birth to some eggs and going to put under mud because he taught us can come and eat up. So, any kind of doubt can be there, possibility. So, she taught us going somewhere else. Not, because otherwise some sus suspicion, you can suspect. So, going long distance and closing eyes and giving hatching, mental hatching to those eggs. Mental hatching. You can think it is impractical. Not 100% practical. Mental hatching from long distance. Mental hatching. I have my eggs there, my baby. In course of mental hatching, the small tortoise coming out of the eggs. If, if so be the case, then why not? My Guru Maharaj cannot catch me. My Guru Maharaj gone from this myth. Oh, go on, me, die. <laughs> Idiot. Die? Popa, die? This is your conception? So, try to understand what I mean to say. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there, he himself Supreme Lord. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami got the chance to serve the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu always used to give uchista to Gopal Bhattu. Mahaprabhu wanted to point out to father and mother that don't arrange any marriage for this boy. Mahaprabhu, while going away, Mahaprabhu, give this. Don't arrange any marriage for this boy. And on time, you can send this boy to Vrindavan. On time. What do you mean by on time? Mahaprabhu is speaking to small Gopal. Gopal, when your father, mother leave, going to leave this world, then you can come to Vrindavan. Huh? Okay? Because father and mother was Vaishnava, great Vaishnava. So Mahaprabhu was very sure, very shortly they are going to leave body. Really so. When Gopal was growing up, then father and mother, both of them, born from this material world. Mahaprabhu could see everything. He is Supreme Lord. He can see past, present and future. Follow. This way, Gopal Bhattu Goswami, I am going to cut short. Please excuse me. Gopal Bhattu Goswami going to Sri Vrindavan because I already told. Initially, previously, they were all initiated in the Sampradaya of Ramanuja Sampradaya. And finally, it was the mercy of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. They could realize the higher rasa, higher benefit. So anyway, they are not going to insult previous Guru. Like Balavacharya also took mantra. Because previously he was doing Bal Gopal mantra. Went to chant. Bal Gopal mantra. After that, with the association of, of Gauranga Mahaprabhu and Advaita Gosai, Nityananda, all big, big devotees, he was bound to change. He was asking, begging for Kishor Gopal Mantra from Gadadhar Pandit. Gadadhar Pandit was not ready to give mantra because I am controlled by my Prabhu. I cannot give. Gadadhar Pandit, I am controlled by my Prabhu. I have no freedom. I cannot give. Finally, there was some incident after that. Anyway, so you see, Mantra and Mantra Devota. If I am going to worship my Guru Maharaj, if I am going to worship Prabhupada daily, so if Prabhupada is not coming in front of me, follow, how I can worship? Not possible. 
even in dream, even in dream, Guru Vaishnava going to show their submission. I mean, Anugatha, perfect. In Parampara. Not that can play one drama. I have taken Diksha from that Mara, you know, you respect me. You are not paying Dhanavat to me. <laughs> Dandadhari. Everybody in road, where? Oh, Maharaj, pay Dandavat. Big Bhakti. <laughs> Very nice teaching. Whom you are paying Dandavat? <laughs> At all he can deserve, uh, can deserve Dandavat? Bhakti Muntaku speaking, I am not speaking. They cannot deserve any Dandavat and respect, but they are taking. I am such and such. So this way, all spiritual line become contaminated. Whereas the instruction of Prabhupada, as per the instruction of Prabhupada, we can keep, we can maintain, we can keep the flowing of Bhaktivinoda Thara in our daily bhajan life. We can keep the flow going. But who is going to? Who is going to obey? We like to burn. We like to burn that, you know, Jaiva Dharma. We can set fire and throw Jaiva Dharma into burn. Actually, you are not burning Jaiva Dharma. You are burning Bhakti Thakur. Remember. You are not burning Jaiva Dharma. You are burning Bhakti Thakur. You are burning Gauranga, Nityananda. Result can come. Wait. The result can come, I am sure. So wait and see. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami now going to leave home as per the instruction of Mahaprabhu and going to Bindavan. And in Bindavan, he discovers Sanatan roof. A roof Sanatan, they because they know everything what happened when Mahaprabhu went. They are actually eternal person, they can realize the, who is Gopal Bhattu Goswami. So, they are going to embrace and kiss, you are my brother. Sonatan Roof speaking, you are my brother. Rupa Goswami is doing bhajan there. Sonatan Goswami is doing bhajan there. Gopal Bhattu Goswami is doing bhajan there. They are doing bhajan. All together. So harmony. If I, if I fail, if I fail to, you know, maintain my harmony with Pohupath and Guru Bhargav, I can get lost in the infinity world. Who care man your money power? Who care man your, you know, number of disciples? Who care man your number of temple? Who care man your false philosophy? It is not, you know, so, this way, Gopal Bhattu Goswami, now going there, and Mahaprabhu going to send Kaupin and Bahirvas. Mahaprabhu going to send Kaupin and Bahirvas for Gopal Bhattu Goswami, and sending somebody, you can go, and hand over to Rup Sanatan, they can give this, you know, with later. So that man, that devotee, going to carry that letter and uh, cloth. Sanatan Rupa was very happy to get the instruction to arrange, you know, Paramansa, Besh for Gopal Bhattu. Actually, they are naturally Paramansa. Actually, they are naturally they are Paramansa. They need not take any Besh. Like North Tumutal. What Paramahansa ways he can take? He is Paramahansa himself. North Tumutaku, Sinivas Sachajo, Ramchanda Kobiraj, or Samananda, all Paramahansa. Natural Paramahansa. They are Paramahansa itself, they are inside heart. No need of taking Paramahansa from outside. But still, it is the rules and regulation. 
So when Sanatana Goswami wanted to meet with Mahaprabhu in Varanasi, Kashi Varanasi, I can speak someday. You can go mad. Then, so long, you know, Siddhanta Vijaya to take time. I feel helpless to represent all that. Still, I am trying to represent such a way, lucid way, sweet way, so that it becomes catchy for you. I am trying my best. Still, I am unable, I have no capacity, but to do. So, when Sanatana Goswami reached, you know, the gate of Gate of Chandrasekhar Acharya. Mapu was there inside. Mapu speaking, you go outside and watch somebody coming. Open the door, go inside. No, Prabhu, we don't find anybody. You really find nobody. Oh, one Dorvesh is there. Dorvesh is One Muslim Sadhu. Muslim Sadhu there. I mean, I mean him. You bring him. Because Sanatana Goswami, no other way. He was like beard, like Muslim, because to hide himself. He had to fly now for Krishna Seva. So, <laughs> Dorbesh. So, Chandrasekhar is speaking, there is no man. Only one Dorbesh. Dorbesh means? Dorbesh is a nickname of Muslim Sadhu. Dorbesh? Yes. Dorbesh. It is the name of one sweet also. But here, that meaning you cannot get. Dor plus base. You can split up the meaning. So I mean him. You bring him. When I bring him. Prabhu oh, calling you. Really? Prabhu call me. So Nathan coming. Mahaprabhu run and run and catch him. Prabhu don't touch me. My dirty cloth. Dirty cloth? <laughs> dirty cloth, embrace and kiss. After that, shedding tears, Mahaprabhu, Sanatan also. After that, what happens? Mahaprabhu giving instruction to Chandrasekhar. Chandrasekhar, you take in you know, a Sanatan to at the bank of Ganga, Baranasi Ganga. You know the flow of Ganga there, Uttar Mukhi, special. Always Ganga flowing in, you know, way, you know, na, in south. But there in Varanasi, Ganga just making a turn. He said, north, impossible. <laughs> Strange, it is a magic spell of Kashi Vishwanath, Paramahansa Kashi Vishwanath, Vaishnavanam Jatha Sambhu. I love Sankar from my childhood. <laughs> I don't know why. I used to draw, drawing up, you know, Sankar Bhagavan, this, that, so many. So, this way, Mahaprabhu sending, then Sanatana going to save all beard and head, everything, and coming in front of Mahaprabhu, and in between, I told you, you know, there was a heavy, costly blanket. I told this, I am not going to. Mahaprabhu looking at the blanket, looking at then Sonatana says, why looking at blanket all the time? Looking at the blanket. Sonatana is very intelligent. He could realize this blanket is costly. Maybe Prabhu uh, want to see something, say something, but cannot say, because I can mind something. So better, Sonatana go outside, again in the gut, in the gut, Ganga gut, and requesting one, uh, you know, sannyasi. Could you please take this, you know, uh, blanket and give that your, your torn top? You are joking with me. No, I am not joking. Surely you are joking. So costly blanket you can give, uh, you can take. I mean it. I am not joking. I am not joking. Please give me. Then you give that blanket and coming with one torn cloth here. Down. Mapo watching. No, okay. Now it's fine. I was thinking also, who is going to enter into Niskinchan life? Actually, Sanatana robe itself Niskinchan, all the time. But still Mahaprabhu say, 
you are going to enter into a strange life, I am thinking, why not going to throw this costly blanket, people can laugh. Madhukuri Bhikkha, I am going to take. Madhukuri Bhikkha. Eh? Bolo. Char Paisar Kambol and Madhukuri Grass. Paramartha Jai, Loke Kare Parihas. Bengali, you know? No? Bengali? No. Foolish. <laughs> <laughs> so, this way, so, I wanted to say that this Paramahansa, Paramahansa is there, already there, Rupa, Sanatana. So, what I wanted to speak, because I can discuss all this about Sanatana Goswami, Tirova, Bhavirva. But say his point is very important, I wanted to say, Mahaprabhu asking Chandrasekhar, Chandrasekhar, you give one cloth to him. Yes or no? Sanatana so, says, I cannot take any more. Why, why, why? If at all, if you like to give me, I like to take your old clothes. How possible? I can give you my old clothes? Yes. If you can give, I can take. Otherwise, new clothes I cannot take. What to do? What to do? Finally, he was bound to give one old cloth. He wash and make one coffin, one bahirvas. Sanatana Goswami himself. Now you can uh, put protection. Why? Who Gurudev giving him? Idiot number one. All his argument coming. Are Mahaprabhu Bhagavan Sri Krishna Chaitanya there? Is approved by him. Who father can give uh, coping to him? Mahaprabhu himself. With his coping, Bahirbha, Mahaprabhu coming in front of a Sanatana coming in front of Mahaprabhu. Very happy. That's mean approved by Mahaprabhu. Don't speak remark like that. Don't start argument all the time. I'm not, I'm, I know you are habituated. Always. This is not good. This is not good. This is bad. Why you do this? You should feel happy when a Vaishnava is going to approve it. Or my personal choice should not be there. I am going to lie. That's not good. Yeah, it is bad. Why are you fool? You should understand. If Pope are approve it, Guru Bhargava approve it, then it is okay. What is the value of my personal choice? So Gopal Bhatta Goswami also was sent. Kopin, Bahirvas, everything. My Mahaprabhu himself approved. So simply Gopal Bhatta Goswami is going to take bath in Jamuna and wear it. They, you can say where from they are getting Paramahansa. Ah, naturally, they are Paramahansa. Kopal Bhattu Goswami is such a great devotee that Bhagavan can never pay him anything. Anyway, Bhagavan is already standing instruction. I cannot pay to any gopis. So, Kopal Bhattu Goswami is gopi. Somebody, Gaur Ganadhyas Dipika, there it is written. There it is written, somebody is speaking, Gopal Bhattu Goswami is Ananga Manjari, somebody is speaking Guna Manjari. And still, uh, more information I have. Somebody is speaking is Rag Manjari. In different planet where their arrangement I know, Bhagavan knows. So, this way they are eternal Parshat. Both Gaur Parshat and Bor, Radha Govinda Parshat. Yeah. So this way, doing bhajan. Rup Sanathan was so happy, so happy. Raghunath, Rup Sanathan, they are so happy, as if their heart is dancing to get the association of Gopal Bhatta. Whereas Gopal Bhatta, his heart is dancing because going to get the association of Rup Sanathan, Raghunath. This is the condition. Long history. Gopal Bhattu Goswami used to worship 12 salgram. Follow. 12 salgram. 12 number of salgram was there. He used to take, he used to keep in a cloth and coats and in on proper place and proper time going to put all, going to put flour, water, Tulosi, everything. 
Where from he got? He got it from Gondoki River. Gondoki. Where Salgram coming. It is the arrangement of Bhagavan Narayan. He is going to send Salgram in the water of Gandaki, nowhere else, only there. So, he is going to worship, he is doing bhajan, exclusive bhajan, doing istagasti all the time, Rup, Sanatan, Gopal Bhattu, and uh, eh, Raghunath Bhattu, all they are doing bhajan together, very nice. It is by the kripa of Gopal Bhattu Goswami that we have the scope to go through Shandarbha and Haribhakti Vilas. We heard that Sonatun Goswami wrote, yes. But the basic formula was written by follow. Basic thing, all. Like Rupa Goswamipad going to write one line, one line. Only one, one line, no? only one sloka. That is a seed. That is a seed of Ashtakali Lila. You cannot believe it. One sloka only, Rupa Goswamipad wrote. On the basis of that slok, on the basis of that slok, our Krishnas Kaviraj Goswami wrote Ashtakali Lila. Big. On the basis of that. On the basis of that, Vishwanath Chakvati Rukh, Krishna Bhavna Mirtho. So what I mean to say, understand. You can find some Sanskrit line. What is this? But when, when, Krishna Bhavna Mirtho is going to look at the slope, he can see all clear, all clean, all vast. This is the difference between their darshan and my darshan. That is the difference. Naraji Maharaj wanted to give Bhagavatam uh, no, in front of Vasudev Goswami. Vasudev Goswami. Chatusloki Bhagavatam. What he got from Brahma. Brahma, what he got from Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Krishna is the Chaturmuk, Hai Krishna Sevan Muk. Krishna is the Brahma, Narada Ramurti, Narada Haiti, Madhukaya, Vasa, this way, Parampara flow. But the knowledge is actually coming from that Chaturmuk Bhagavatam. All sanskar given by Bhagavan. Brahma, all sanskar done by Bhagavan. Aprakita Gopal Dev. Give sanskar, Brahma speaking. I was, uh, Sanskar was done by Ivan Bhagavan and giving some Kam Gayati, Kam Bis, this, that, so many. Brahma speaking himself. After that, getting Chatusloki Bhagavatam, it is the mystery of whole Bhagavatam. If you are blind, you cannot see. Mani Chatusloki Bhagavatam, Maharaj, this much, and uh, four sloka. Yes. Within that four sloka, 18,000 sloka. A Bhagavatam there. You cannot see. Because your darshan is not good. But when this Chatishloki Bhagavatam was given to Vyasadeva by Naraji Maharaj, then Vyasadeva wanted to look at the slok and he could realize all the inner meaning. He wanted to expound. It's in the concentration form, is expanding. All same. Chatusloki Bhagavatam, Chatusloki four slok Bhagavatam is just equal to 18,000 slok Bhagavatam. There is no disparity, there is no doubt. How possible? That is why I told you that you should have your inner sight by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava to develop. In a, how to look into, not that part. You can read and memorize, but that much you can do. You cannot go up to the, this is at present Diksha. At present this kind of thing happening. It is the responsibility of Guru Padma. 
to transfer feeling, provided the disciple is sincere. Otherwise, transfer is not possible. So this way, Gopal Bhattu Goswami wanted to write all the synopsis of Hari Bhakti Vilas, all six Sandarbhas, everything. By the help of which, by the order of Mahaprabhu, and by the help of which, Sanatana Goswami wanted to write Brihad, you know, big books. Hari Bhakti Vilas, this measurement. Hari Bhakti Vilas. By the help of those, you know, synopsis of all Sandarbha, only there was some like mathematics, you know. Like mathematics, only one formula you can. One formula, small. But the formula is so inner meaning. You cannot believe. Those who are mathematics students, only they can realize. E is equal to mc square, and some Planck constant, you can see this is formula. What is this? But those who are big, big scientists like Shatya and Bose, who are successful to solve this, you can go mad. He was trying to solve this mathematics for one month, two months. Finally, he was successful. What are you doing? Follow. So don't think it is a matter of joke. Even material was this. Someday, I appear in examination when a small boy, uh, maybe 16 or 18, I forget, uh, I forget uh, uh, how to solve this. I was solving, one, one problem was there, mathematics, I couldn't solve, I was thinking. Then I do one thing, I go back to the formula. I wanted to build up the formula, finally what comes. Then I apply, I was successful. I was pre preliminary, I was upset. After that, no, why not you go to the original? I go back to the original. I mean, the, how this formula came, I go back original. I take loose paper, I do I know, very rough work, then I built up, then I apply, I was successful. Follow. This way, actually, our Sanatan Goswami Par writing, our Jiva Goswami Par writing volumes of books, what all Harikatha I am speaking by the mercy of Guru Pat Adma, all Siddhanta Vichar from you can get all from Sandarva. You need not separately read. All, all you can get automatically without any trouble. Volumes of book you need not read. You are getting the gist. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami worshipping 12 Salgram, someday feeling trouble, uh, pain. I like to worship one deity, it's Salgram. Some rich man coming, he wanted to distribute golden ornament, everything, uh, cloth of all deity. He came to you, uh, came to him. He used to respect him. I like to give some ornament and this, that to you. Uh, but surely, I have no deity, I have a Salgram. Well, you can put in front of Salgram. Salgram Bhagavan is, uh, you know, Bhagavan. He gave all and everything and cloth, everything. But he was feeling disturbed mentally. Oof. If I could get one deity, I could arrange a nice cloth, give one flute here in the hand of Krishna, Oof. give some crown. Oof. With this mood, he is going to sleep in the night time. And when going to get up in the morning time, to take bath and do arthi, when you open the covering, he discover one ma uh, one big raha. Very nice this. Oh, so nice. Even we cannot say it is a synth it is a synthesis of the whole infinity beauty of infinity world. Even this I cannot say. So beautiful, Radha Raman. I cannot say it is a synthesis of all the beauties of infinity world. This, this also I cannot say. It's unique. Always and every time 
I like to see everywhere. When I'm doing job, these here, so many, say, always I look at Mahavaraman. I cannot forget. So nice. Always I remember. This Radharaman appeared and Gopal Bhatto started crying. Prabhu, according to my desire, you appear in the whole, oh, I have given you trouble. What difference I could worship Salgram is all the same. Still today you can find the symbol of Salgram at the backside of that deity. Backside. Symbol. Salgram. You can find. So, Bhagavan appeared. So he started worshipping. All around this news spread all around. First of all, Rup Sanatan all running like mad to see. After watching, they started shedding tears. Like a fountain flow of water. Prabhu, so mercy you have. To fulfill my heart, you appear in this form. So, in the month of Baishak, one special date, that time Radharama appeared in this form. And there they arranged big festival of the time. Sometime Gopal Vasa Goswami went to Haridwar, near Haridwar one place. Haridwar. And there, in course of his return journey, he go to Saharanpur because anyway there was no vehicle at that time. Anywhere you have to move. Follow. If I go to Haridwar for Harikatha, I come back within four, four hours. This car, they come, bring me. Four hours is impossible. <laughs> I come back to Bindavan. In Hindi, of course, not English, two Vedanta you can find, six or uh, eight months before. I mean, just after Gorfunim, previous, two Vedanta, on Vedanta, two discussion in Hindi, you can find Hindi. So, Gopal Bhattu Goswami, in course of a return journey, he met with some people, because that place was full of Brahmin, uh, predominated. You know, with Brahmin family, majority of the people. So he's very interested. And he meet with some people, Brahmin people. He was successful to preach in front of them. They're very much interested to, you know, become devotee. I mean, sacrifice their life. So such one, such one family, they you find one very small boy. He love him, he bless him, and give instruction to father and mother. When this boy grow up, please send you to me. When he grow up, don't arrange marry for this boy. Follow. Of course, by the blessing of that, you know, Gopal Bhattu Goswami, they got that. He bless. He have no son and children I can get. Anyway. That boy, someday, when Gopal Bhattu Goswami coming back, after a long time, many years after, one small boy, he discovered, he is sitting in the rock outside of Radharaman, you know, temple. That time, that Radharaman temple was not there, very small. Gopal Bhattu Goswami asking, who are you? Where from you are coming? My name is Gopinath. You can remember. You went to Shaharanpur to that my father and mother, you give oh, oh you are that small boy, now grown up. Come, come inside. My father and mother uh, give me instruction to serve you. Really? Come. That boy take part, go to Jamuna, give mantra, everything. And from then onward that Gopina started. Worship because anyway his Brahmin boy, very nice quality. He started worshipping Radharama. Gopal Bhattu Goswami also doing sometimes. So he's, most of the time he is doing. After that, another boy took birth. 
in their family. I mean, one brother of Gopinath. His name is Damodar. His name was Damodar. He grown up after the marriage was there. Because father, mother. Finally, the Damodar also, Damodar and his wife, they also nice Brahman quality. They come to serve Gopal Vartokusa. Long history, I cannot speak in details anymore because time is over. Finally, what happens? Our, the great, the great Gaur Parsat, why is Srinivas Acharya? Srinivas Acharya came here in Vrindavan to take lesson from Jibhagusnei Path and finally took shelter unto the lotus feet of this Gopal Vattu Follow. Gopal Vattu What a miracle! Because Gaurang Mahapu coming in the form of Gaurang Mahapu himself, coming in the form of Mahapu who told to Vishnu Piyya Devi, in the form of Srinivas Acharya. Nityananda Babu coming in the form of Narathama Thakur. Advaita Gosai coming in the form of Samananda Prabhu. For ex extensive preaching, massive preaching. What is called, what do you mean by massive preaching? Now you have false, you know, idea. You have false idea. If you can go through their, you know, Leela, then you can understand Maharaj. This massive preaching, this word is not false. Massive preaching, this word is itself very fake, a fake term. It has no meaning. But only and only if we can go back in the Leela of Narthamutaku, then we can say, okay. Changed. Today is the day, Gopal Bhattu Goswami, because Rupa Sanatan gone, after that he also wanted to go away. Gopal Bhattu Goswami, today is the day when he wanted to leave body. Because Vaishnavas, they can, if Vaishnav can find that you are not sincere, nothing, all rubbish you are doing, then Vaishnav can take decision, I can go away. I cannot speak Harikatha anymore, I cannot speak any Siddhanta Vijaya because they are cheating me, can go away. Same case with my Guru Maharaj. He was supposed to leave up to Ten, uh, hundred years, twelve, hundred years and tw plus twelve years. But he took decision to go away. Anyway, we are feeling sorry. We are feeling pain because Gopal Vatu Goswami, who is the genius, who is this jewel with this brain and this and our condition, I cannot understand. I pray unto his lotus feet so that I, someday I can realize who are you. I can enjoy your kipa with this mood. I am bound to stop my Siddhanta Vichar. I couldn't speak anything. The sloka I started with, I was supposed to explain, but I couldn't do. Next day, if I get time, first of all, I can explain the first sloka I start. Because first time when I started speaking, all I wanted to speak on the basis of that slope. So the slope I must discuss next day. Thursday, I think. I can discuss that day. Then I can, you can realize what I wanted to say. Then surely I think you cannot become angry with me. Tvang bhakti yoga paribhavita hitsaro jvasa se shutekshita patanonanathapangsam Yad yad dhiyat uruga yavibhavayati Tattad bapu pranayase sadhano grahayo Vanchakalpatrvasi ke pasin Patitanang bhavna bhavishn 